Hello and welcome to this lecture. This is the second part of the previous lecture in which we accessed and viewed remote data using RESTful services. In this second part, we will perform DML operations on the local server and view the reflection on the remote server. Now, let's test how data manipulation committed on the local server affect the interactive report on the remote server. First, we are going to add a new employee record in the local database. After creating a record for a new employee in the local database, let's see whether it is reflected in the interactive report on the remote server. As you can see, the record of the new employee is automatically reflected in the interactive report. Now let's make some modifications to this new employee's record. Here, I am changing the job type of this new record. The amendment is also reflected in the interactive report. Refresh your browser's window to see the modification. Finally, test the delete operation. As you can see, the total number of records is 15, including the new employee's record. Refresh the page to see the reflection. The record has vanished and the total number of records has also decreased by 1. That's it for now. The lecture covered the second part of our exploration into synchronizing remote data using RESTful services in Oracle Apex. In this session, you are engaged in performing DML operations on the local server and observe the corresponding changes on the remote server. The practical demonstration involved adding a new employee record in the local database, checking its automatic reflection in the interactive report on the remote server, modifying the new employee's record, and confirming the update in the report. Furthermore, you tested a delete operation to understand the real-time synchronization between the local and remote servers. The lecture highlighted the dynamic impact of these database operations on the interactive report, offering valuable insights. Thank you.